Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my Warlock solo high score run of this week's, one of this week's Nightfall, Strange Terrain. We are running Dawnblade. I'll be using Firebolt Grenade and Healing Rift. Burst Glide for anybody that's interested. I'm using Spiteful Fang, which is the Forge Bow as my primary. Trust Hand Cannon, which is Gambit for my energy and Thunderlord as my heavy. And I'm using the Luna Faction Boots, obviously for the, the reload within the Rift. So I've also got, it's worthwhile mentioning, whenever I'm using a machine gun, my helmet has extra machine gun ammo and my gauntlets have machine gun scavenger. So I get more ammo back per brick. The modifiers I'm using is Oxinch, Heavyweight, Momentum and Match Game. And we've went with a 110 score modifier, which gives us a, a power handicap, which gives us a 5.7 score modifier. The 110, I know a lot of people say it's broken. I've said this before and I will say it again. Put on 110, go in and see how fast you die. It's, it, you take a, you get hit hard. And now that we're 650, 110 still puts us down to 640. So it's you know you're 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 pretty legitimate now for it. So anyway, all that aside, this is how I'm going to do this run. I'm going to run past all these ads because the time you spend putting them down versus what you score, you will get like 20, 25,000 or something like that, 20,000. But the time you waste doing it. And it is a bit of a waste because that wizard is a bit bullet spongy. It's just not worth it. We're going to hit 180,000 doing this. So, as you can see, a bit of meltage on these ads with the Thunderlord. I'm going to come up, I'm going to try and take some of these ads. And we're going. To, I really want to take the snipers up top because they can be troublesome. Uh, there's some ads over uh, to our right and the first knight will be over at the right. So I'll state this straight away. If you leave the orbs on the floor, or if you don't throw them at the crystal quick enough, you will spawn an additional knight. The knight will disappear once you've thrown the once you throw the, the orb. I'm just stating it in case you guys are like, well, I'm spawning extra stuff. Just like I did. <laughs> it's not a reflection on you. It's 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 more I'm adding that in there because I didn't know it. <laughs> so now, you know, after I've known it for a while, but I wish I'd have known it. At the time, because I, I thought it was a glitch. But it's not. It's just when you get it. And I've left that on the floor. So I'm I'm going to get an extra night here. So that's kind of the way it works. There's two different sets of ads you can get here. I've got the Exploding Thrall. The Cursed Thrall. Which I prefer. The knights are a bit. Got to melt, melt a wee bit with the, the Thunderlord. So. <clears throat> any shielded enemies. Or any groups of enemies. As long as they're not Thrall. Just that word again, just feather your Thunderlord, just tap, tap the Thunderlord, don't go melting, don't, you don't need to melt them, as you can see, he's going to disappear now, I've thrown both of them, that's the way it works, so if you're ever getting extra nights, that's why. So we push on to the next area, I try and take the the ads that come out from the left hand side here, there's only one or two of them, probably normally two, I take them with the primary, I take as many of them with the primary as I can, just to get that heavy ammo drops, and I bang on, I do, I bang on about it quite a bit. But this video is the perfect example of why I bang on about it. Because heading to the boss, I'm going to head to the boss with 16 heavy ammo rounds. Because I just didn't drop any in the ogre room. So I did end up, after I after I got no cross to run, I did end up getting extra heavy. So it wasn't too much of a, a thing, but I thought it would be a good example. So, I take the two knights from up here. I like to take all three of these enemies. So you've got two knights, two normal acolytes, and an elite acolyte, an orange bar. Then, I jump up on this rock because you get two elite uh, sword knights, them shielded knights. And then, I run to this rock that's in front of us on the right. I put my rift down. We deal with, deal with the four knights again feathering, making sure I'm not going too too crazy with the, the Thunderlord. You don't have to. Uh, and then Firebolt Grenade down when the night, when the wizard comes. Firebolt Grenade above Solar Grenade because Firebolt, especially for shields, if they move, Firebolt does a lot, a lot of damage, but if they move, the Firebolt Grenade has the, 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 like the solar flares that come out 
and they can they, they can still attack ads that are moving away. They've got a decent range. Whereas the solar, I find the solar is for 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 enemies that dodge as much as wizards. They're not not so good. So th this right here is why I chose a, a primary bow because there there are going to be occasions in this where I'm going to want to attack ads from a little bit more range than a hand cannon can really deal with. I didn't want the. I think. I think the best word to use is the disconnection that a sniper can give you. I feel like when you ADS, you know, I don't, I personally don't have a problem with snipers. I feel for a guide though, the disconnection you can sometimes experience by going ADS with a sniper can leave you vulnerable. So, and bows just, they've got, le you know, snipers have got a, a cut off. They're good, they're accurate, long range. But they have a limit. Bows don't. If you hit a crit from, you know, twice as far sometimes as a sniper can allow you, you'll still get the one hit kill. That's why I chose a bow. And I think a bow is, I think bows are probably the best addition to the arsenal we've had in Destiny. I if you if you think of grenade launchers, SMGs, uh, sidearms, bows are definitely the best addition we've had because there's so many different applications for them. Whereas, grenade launches are good in PvP, you can, there's an argument, and I am going to test it, there's an argument that the Prospector, with its DPS, if you're interested to know where I got these statistics from, Eroar has a really good uh, DPS comparison video out for heavies, the Prospector actually does decent damage comparable to the Whisper for DPS damage per second, Whisper beats it on ammo, and that's probably where the Prospector lacks, but... I still think bows are the best. So, what I do is I come up here. It doesn't matter if it's the ogre. It doesn't matter if it's the ogre or the shrieker. I'll put down my whale. And the whale isn't for the ogre, isn't for the shrieker. It's for that wanted. Because that wanted is a pain in the backside. So, and I've got cover from the ogre. And I've got ready-made cover should one of these uh, knights decide to get a little bit frisky and start doing that thing where you're 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 getting good hits you but there's no flinch so they're still firing at you that's the thing when you're attacking heavy enemies and we have got oxen John remember if you're attacking heavy enemies you need to have some form of cover as a get out of jail free there we go there's the knight and what we're going to do is once you kill the first two knights, you're going to spawn. So if you're getting shriekers, you get shrieker, two knights. Then once you've killed them, you've thrown them, the next shrieker will open and you'll get two more knights. Now I've put down the well here for a reason which will become very apparent when I turn around. If, if you move to just about here, the ogre can't shoot you because that big big rock-like structure to our left is blocking them. That's the secret to moving around this map. Is to, to attack from places where the ogre has no purchase on you. So I got the melee. This was a little bit risky. I would probably go, for anyone else, I would go far left. Up here, I'd probably attack from up just to our left. That little bit you run through, just to our left there. I would attack from there because it gives you cover from the ads. But I felt confident I'd put the I'd put the ogre down before I'd go down. And here we go. There you have it. I have 69, 69 rounds. Now, I did say 16. You'll see why I said 16. Because it takes me 40, however, 40, 53 rounds. 53 rounds to put down these four knights, which leaves me 16 to deal with the first DPS phase. And I even left one knight and took him with a bow. It's it's just the way it is, you know, and I, I've got two, 265. You can have, you know, thing about the perks for the grenade, the, the, any, any weapon, is they stack, you know. So if you've got two pieces of, two pieces of, uh, You've got two pieces of armor that, that give you additional rocket uh, uh, machine gun ammo. They'll stack, so you'll get double. So there we go, sixteen rounds in my heavy.
and I never dropped any. I never dropped any because I never I never managed to get the area of effect, the lightning effect, which sometimes you can get that and it will kill some of the knights. So what I'm going to have to do for the next 20, 30 seconds is kind of stand here. I've got plenty of cover and switch between hand cannon and bow and get knockers to move. Bit of a time waste. We're still good for time. I mean, nine and a half minutes. This could be done a lot quicker. It could be done quicker. But like I've said before, and, and as somebody pointed out to me and I want to thank random for pointing this out everybody's got their place in destiny you know speed runs i enjoy watching them i enjoy watching speed runs you know uh i don't think there's no place in destiny for speed runs and i don't think they're pointless you know i i, I just as you can see i'm not happy with the fact that it took me so long to get knockers into his 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 hibernation state so yeah, anyway, I just want to apologise for my rant on the last video about that. It won't happen again. Uh, I just took it to heart because I felt it was personal. So anyway, so now we've got Minty's hybrid state. Hybrid state. This is going to be the cover I'm going to use for the first two phases on the, on the enemies. It's quite large. It allows for a lot of movement. You know, you're not kind of, you're not in any trouble if, if ads do kind of push on you. So I use this in later phases. We'll switch between this rock and the rock on the far left. So this is right cover, and the rock on over there to our right is the left hand cover. I'll switch between them later on. Really good for heavy now. I've got two two five six on me, and there's bricks lying about. So now we just get a bit of meltage on these ads. What we're going to do is take out the two take out the two knights. Took a pretty heavy hit there. Take out the two knights, and when I get the second orb, I'm going to carry the orb up to the f where we've done the first little bit of DPS on Nocris. That's where I'm going to DPS him for the first two phases. So, we'll, we'll kill this knight. There he goes. We'll just go and pick up the last bit of heavy. I'm going to pick this orb, and we're going to take it up to behind the rock, just up here. We're going to put down a rift. And then we'll throw, we're all ready, set and ready to go. We throw it, break, break his shield, and then get some meltage on. And as you can see, you've got a good bit of cover. And if you do get hit, which, as you can see, you can get hit, you'll regenerate because of the, because of the, because of the rift. And we know there's two snipers. There's always two snipers up there in between DPS phases. And that's it's one of the reasons I brought the bow, because of that ranged attack ability. And the trust, as you can see, if, if I feel that I can manage the adds up to the boss, I will have my loadout set towards the boss. So trust is really good for dealing with mass adds, and it's solar. And the only other shield you deal with in Nocris is solar. So we've got arc, we've got arc worked out with... Uh, We've got Ark looked at with the Thunderlord. Trust deals with War Solar. And you know you're gonna take you know what's gonna take damage from wizards. Wizards are sneaky, they like to hide around and do damage. So just make sure that you're constantly procking your health. Now that we've took the two wizards down, the knights won't spawn till the wizards go down. So it's kind of something that you can you know you can work towards. You know you can run about and you know, if there's one wizard up, you can leave the wizard up and go and get hit, go and get ammo and just take a breather. As long as the wizards, one one of those wizards are up, the ads won't spawn. So, we've done it once before, we're going to do it again. Exactly the same tactic. We're going to get over here. I was getting really... You can jump and in, in melee with, with the, the orb and it'll make you move faster. I just, I don't know, I was expecting my momentum to help me there. Second night out. Because I never threw it. I think I think that's what it is. It's not that it's on the ground. It's because I never threw it fast enough. I killed the what There must be like a a delay, like a a time. The longer you don't when you kill a when you kill a knight and you don't throw the orb, the longer the 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 the, the crystal the crystal stays intact after the knight spawns. You'll get another one. So now what we're gonna get 
is we're going to get Knockers is now going to become a roaming boss. So I'm just going to kind of take out some ads and I'll tell you, don't do this. I was lucky because I remember that the last minute I couldn't see Knockers in front of me and just was like, oh, he's come behind me. So this is what we're going to do now, get a firebolt grenade on them. Uh, we're going to be going from left to right uh, cover just because Norcris now will follow you. So we want to just keep moving until we've took down a majority of the ads and we've got one night up. We've got our super. You need to keep your super for this part. It works exceptionally well. Um, we've got most of the ads down. Most of the th when I say ads, I mean thrall. We've got most of the thrall down. We're just gonna. We've got plenty of heavy. We're just gonna get a bit of meltage. And when we get over here, now we're gonna put our rift down. The rift is you play. All I always like to place the rift here, on this side. When I'm using this strategy, I want to place the rift here. Quite simply. Because Nocris will not come behind this rock. This is the only true cover you have. You can he'll come to the side, as you've seen there, but he won't come behind it. He will move round the big rock on this side. And I think it's because of how much space is behind it. He must have a barrier so far round the edge that he can't go. And we'll take down this next night. And really, that's the run. Very simple. If you move between these two rocks on the boss part, get a rift down just to keep us safe. As you can see, got another knight. It doesn't matter. We're looking for Norcris. Norcris is around this side. And goodbye. Thank you very much for being part of this. But it's over. And that's the run, guys. 183,939. Not bad. Decent score. Uh, I've already done a paramedium run. Check that out. I'll get the warden and nothing up a bit later on. And if you haven't already seen it, guys, check out my Petra's run. It's a really good last wish guide for anybody that hasn't completed it yet. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.